Another young princess asks for help to escape Dubai. People, another young princess has recorded a video asking for help to escape her parents in Dubai. The woman identified as Sheikh Maita Al Maktoum assures that she cannot take it anymore and that she plans to leave the same night. As Latifa, one of the daughters of the Amir of Dubai, did two years ago, her cousin Maitha tries to make that message protect from her from oblivion. If they catch me, I'm dead. He wants on the other side of the screen. The lawyer he was sent to at the end of the last year has never heard from him again. Hence the lawyer, the British David Hay, has shared the recording with the program 60 Minutes Australian Television that has broadcasted. Sitting in front of the camera, the girl dressed in a blue t-shirt and discreet earrings for all the adornment shows her Emirati card to prove her identity, although it appears blurred in the diffused images. He apologizes for the background music with which he explains he tries to prevent someone from hearing what he records. I'm planning to leave tonight. Why? I can't take it anymore. I just can't take it anymore, says Maitha in anguish. I'm sick of my parents. I feel I will be leaving in a few hours. If they catch me, I'm dead. She adds between sobs before explaining that she wants the video to be broadcast in case something happened to her. If the cuts shown on the television program, Maitha doesn't say her age or explain the specific reason for a decision. Hey, the lawyer to whom he sent the recording says that the 26-year-old Sheikh wants to leave Dubai due to the treatment women receive in the Emirates. However, he is reluctant to provide Al Pass with the full video for fear of damaging the young women's interest. Despite the image of modernity, it projects the UAE, United Arab Emirates, the federation to which Dubai belongs, maintains a system of male guardianship over women, Valia, which limits their freedom and exists to different degrees in the six monarchies of the Arabian Peninsula. Hai, who is also one of the activists behind the international campaign for the liberation of Latifa, says that he lost contact with Maitha after the escape attempt he spoke about in the video failed at the end of last year. Since then, his whereabouts are unknown. In fact, he explains it was Latifa's attempt that inspired Maita. In March 2018, she managed to flee on a yacht but was captured shortly afterwards off the coast of India by a group of armed men and returned to the Emirates. Unlike Latifa, Maita is not the daughter of the Emir of Dubai, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid al-Maktoum, but a niece on the maternal side of her family. The ruler has a daughter of the same name. Karatika Maita Binte Muhammad Al Maktoum, 31, who was a standard bearer for the United Arab Emirates at the Beijing Olympics 2008. It's not just Maita, since the unsuccessful flight from Latifa, around 40 women from the Gulf have contacted us, says a lawyer, who contributes to, it to the restrictions imposed by the guardianship. Its scope varies by the country, but essentially subordinates women, regardless of age or marital status, to the guardian, be it the father, the husband, or in some cases another male in the family. Although even in Saudi Arabia it has softened in recent years in all six monarchies, they need the guardian's permission to marry and the head of the family has the authority to limit their movements. Martha is the third woman in Dubai's ruling family to try to escape what has been revealed as a golden cage in the past two years. Only Princess Haya, the youngest of the Emir's wives, has so far been successful and is fighting in British courts to obtain custody of two children together, which he took with her. Last March, the judge handling the case, Andrew McFarlane, accepted as proven the accusations of kidnapping, torture and intimidation of women in the family. The magistrate concluded that Sheikh Mohammed, who is Vice President and Prime Minister of the Emirates, ordered and orchestrated the kidnapping of his Latifa, just as he did with another of his daughters, Shamsa, during a stay in Cambridge, United Kingdom in the t year 2000. Those presidents made him accept highest fears that her life was in danger and she had no choice but to flee to buy.